question 1. Mira saved $50 of her allowance and spends the rest. If she increased her savings by 30%, her spending would decrease by 5%. How much was her allowance? Step 1. Let's change all the percentage to fraction. 3 out of 10. For 5%, it is 1 out of 20. Let us focus on the second sentence. Let's ignore the percentage for the moment. If she increased her savings, you think about it. The only way she can increase her savings, it, the additional amount of money it must come from where? It must come from the spending. So if she were to save, say, $10 more, it must come from the spending. So she would need to spend $10 less. If she increased her savings by $50, it means she will have to spend $50 less. So what this sentence is trying to say is 3 10 of her savings is equal to 1 out of 20 of her spending. Okay? It means this fraction is equal to this fraction. Alright, so from here, remember when a sentence mentions something like a fraction is equal to another fraction, step one, we make their numerators into the same number. So for this case, 3 and 1, we will make this into 3. So what is the equivalent of 1 out of 20? We can times 3, times 3, we will get 3 out of 60. So after we have achieved a common numerator, 3 and 3, we will look at the denominator. The denominator value tells us about the total number of units. So for savings, there will be 10 units. And for the spending, it will be 60 units. So in total, her allowance amount is 70 units. So how do we figure out what is the value for 70 units? We know that at the beginning, she has 10 units of savings, which is equivalent to, which is equal to $50. The first step, 10 units is equal to $50. The second step, 1 unit will be $50 divided by 10 to give us $5. Next, to figure out the allowance amount, so allowance amount which is 70 right 10 plus 60 it's five dollars times 70 to give us the answer of 350 dollars